start spreading the news. At some point Sunday night, Frank Sinatra will fill the air at Yankee Stadium for the final time. I want to be a part of it. It'll be the end of an era for the house that Ruth built. But though this stadium will be gone, the place they call a baseball cathedral will live on. You think about a cathedral, for me, it's like this historic building. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. The spirit of what you get in that park, Yankee Stadium was sacred. Yankee Stadium was sacred. Yankee Stadium was sacred. Memories, the pictures will never go away. It's almost like the history of the game has passed through there. I think back every time I take the field, all the great moments in Yankee Stadium. Most unbelievable feat in World Series history. The great players have played there. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. The Lou Gehrig to DiMaggio. Yogi Berra, Roger Maris, Elson Howard, Jackson, Whitey Ford, Munson. Just thank God, you know, the Lord was on our side. Winning, winning. Championships. Championship. World champions. Team of the decade. The successful franchise of the century. Magical. Magical. Another miracle in the Bronx. It just seems like the ghosts come out of every corner. It's taken on such a mythical, almost a religious connotation. There is something about this stadium. It does something to you. It won't let you forget what has happened here. I think that makes it the mecca of baseball. It's the mecca of, of baseball. The Yankee Stadium truly is a thing of beauty. I don't think there's any more storied stadium than Yankee Stadium. And quite often, it's the first impression one had of it that endures. First time I walked into Yankee Stadium, it seemed like it was larger than life. I was probably six, seven years old, and it seemed like the grass was greener in Yankee Stadium. Everything was huge. It's an experience that you'll never forget. First time I walked on Yankee Stadium, it was incredible. To sell out against the Orioles and people when you walk to the bullpen or chant my name. It's, it's a feeling that I'll never, ever forget. Being accepted at Yankee Stadium and being part of something that's so magical is very, very special. First time they got up to bat, you know, and going to play in Yankee Stadium with Charlie Keller, Tommy Hendrick, uh, Joe DiMaggio, that was a pretty big honor for me to get a little look. I'm playing with all these guys that I watched play when I was a kid. I got called up in 95 in September, and I got there really, really early. I went straight to the dugout, and as I walked to the dugout with my luggage, uh, I couldn't stop crying. Uh, it was just a dream come true. There will no doubt be many more tears shed this weekend, as generations of Yankee fans summon their own memories of players, traditions, and above all, the moments that have made Yankee Stadium a cherished part of baseball history. It's up to you. For more chairman of the board, go to Sinatra.com.